don't be like Israel in the wilderness. The Apostle Paul was trying to call the Corinthians to a holy life in Christ and get them to realize that even though they've been baptized and had spiritual food and drink, 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 1 through 4, the sacramental parts of Christianity by themselves are not enough to save. They had to really take the holy life and dedication part of Christianity to heart, or else they would be just like the wilderness generation of Israel that was delivered from bondage in Egypt. But the scripture says, Nevertheless, with most of them God was not well pleased, for they were laid low in the wilderness. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 5. The Apostle Paul explained that the reason for that disaster was because of the same type of things the Corinthians were doing. So he told them, don't crave evil things, verse 6. Don't be an idolater, verse 7. Don't be immoral, verse 8. Don't test and try the Lord's patience, verse 9. And don't grumble, verse 10. The wilderness generation did every one of those things and suffered the ultimate penalty for it. And too many of the Corinthian Christians were doing the very same things. We wouldn't do those things too, would we? So, if they thought they could stand before God while living like that, they needed to take heed lest they fall, verse 12. But if they were willing to resist temptation, God would help them greatly and gave them this promise. No temptation has overtaken you, but such as is common to man. And God is faithful, who will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you're able, but with the temptation will provide the way of escape also, that you may be able to endure it. Verse 13. Yes, thanks be to God, who gives us such help when we seek it. We invite you to the Mulvane Church of Christ. Come see what a difference the Bible way makes. Find out more at mulvanechurch.com.